All right. So good afternoon, everyone. Today we will continue the topic that we had for this week. This is the last day for, of our lesson for the area of circle. So to start, let's pray. Uh, Nadine, please lead the prayer. Grade five. Go, close your eyes, gather your hand, and let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. We are very grateful for the gift of life, love, and protection. Please right. guide us as we start our lesson for today. May your Holy Spirit be with us until the end. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you, Nadine. Okay, good afternoon. How are you, grade 5? How are you? Doing good? Happy? Yes. Uh, how about sleepy? Are you sleepy? Hmm? Okay. Now, Vaughn, I would like I, I would like to ask you to read our virtual classrooms. Please, Vaughn. Find a quiet place. Be ready and be on time. Attendance is always checked. Keep your video on and look at the camera. Pay attention, listen, participate. Mute yourself until it is your time to speak. Say no. Say no to. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Vaughn. Now let's move on to our. Yes. Yesterday, uh, we practiced how to get the area of a circle. Okay. What's the formula again? The formula is this one. Look. A is equal to pi r squared. Now, what is pi again? Pi is equivalent to? 3.14. Yes. Is this changeable or this is a standard? It is already standard. It cannot be changed. It's already there. Yes. So only the only the, the thing that you really need to do is to memorize this one. Is it hard to memorize? The pi? The pi. Yes, only three digits. 3.14. Okay, 3.14. Don't forget that one. Google on some meaning of pi. Hmm? Come on, search a Google on some meaning of pi lang ba? What a pause? Hindi yan siya pagkain ha? Pi. Hmm? Never mind. Uh, never mind. Okay, anyway, how about the R? Charles, tell me, what is R? Radius. Radius. What does it mean about radius, Charles? Radius uh, means? Radius is... What's that? <laughs> if you have your diameter, which one is the, the, the radius? Huh? What? And the Charles? <laughs> oh no, Nadine. Please help Nadine. What is radius? Yes, very good, Nadine. Charles, what is it? Radius is? Uh, I was going to go on. Mini can voice. Oh, you ask Nadine. You ask Nadine. What is radius again? You ask. You ask Nadine. Go. Open your radius again. You know, though. Say it properly. You say Nadine. And you repeat what radius means, please. <laughs> it's. Hi, nako. Okay, Nadine. <laughs> Can you repeat? Baka nahiya si Charles sa'yo. Hmm. Half of your diameter. Radius Charles is the half of... Diameter? Half, okay? Half of the diameter. Okay, so if this is your circle, this is the diameter... And this is the center. This part is your radius. 
Dios. Okay, all right. Very good. So, what's the formula again, Alexa? A times... Oh, what's this? Mm. A equals pi times r squared. Okay, very good. What does it mean again, r squared? If we have exponent here, meaning raised to the power of 2, what does it mean? R squared means Benedict. Hi, Benedict. Good afternoon. Hi. Mm -mm. Okay, what does it mean about R squared? R squared means? Dublihin. Number. Okay, so what operation? You will use addition? Multiply. Multiplication. So, will you say R times 2 or R times R? Benedict? R. R times 2 or R times R? Benedict? R In times 2? R times 2? Mm. Grade 5, don't be confused. Though the exponent is 2, it doesn't mean hindi talaga na r times 2. Diba ang squared, it means you multiply it by itself. Mm. So for example, r squared meaning r times r. Not times 2, okay? Not times 2. Understand? Understand? Hello? Opo. Opo. Okay, very good. So, what is R squared, Warren? Kenneth? R squared means? Warren? Oh, Warren! Answer me. Turn on your com. I mean, your microphone. Hi, Marco. Good afternoon. Hi, Marco. Good afternoon. Marco Dwayne. Good afternoon. Yes, we have Munis. Very cute, Munis. Hi, Munis. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pa. Okay. So, again, actually, Marco and Munis were, are actually having a review about the formula of the area of circle. So, uh, Nadine said that uh, pi is equal to 3.14. And she also explained that R in the formula means radius. And then Charles repeated the answer of Nadine that radius is the half of the diameter. Okay? Now, the latest or the current question is what does it mean about R squared? R squared. What does it mean? Is it R times 2 or R times R? Alexa? Alexa, Fate. Fate, can you hear me, Fate? Hello, Fate. Okay, Charles. Uh, R times R? Ano? R times? R. Okay, very good. R times R. So, I think we're ready. Let's solve for the area of the circle. Okay, no, that, that's so, so dirty. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, let's have the four feet. Can you see the four feet? That's the radius. Radius. 
inches? Four, four. I have four, four? Mm -mm. Nadine, please solve. What's the formula again, Nadine? V is equal to? Pi times radius squared. Yes, very good. So what's the value of the pi? 3.14. Very good. And then what's the radius? Radius is? 4 feet. Very good. Don't forget the squared. Okay. Before you multiply it to 3.4, I 14, solve first your 4 feet squared. So what is 4 feet squared, Nadine? 4 feet squared is? 15. What is it? 16. 16? 16 what? Squared. Feet squared. Very good. Now you're ready to multiply the 16 feet squared to 3.14. Teacher, how do you do it? Pa, yung 4 feet tapos ikaw ang 16. Naging 516. Okay, very good, Minis. Saan doon? Kasi, kasi, kasi pa ako, naka, kasi di pa ako nakapasok sa... Class yesterday. Okay. Oh, it's okay, Eunice. Okay, I will repeat. Eunice, this four feet here is actually the radius of a circle. Okay, in a circle, there is a diameter. When you see diameter, that is the equal half. Okay, of a circle. Now, in a diameter, dito, can you see? Minis, I will use other color. Aba. Yes, this part. I will I'll, I'll use yellow lines here. That yellow yet line is the diameter, meaning the half. Now, the radius, I will use color green. The radius is this one. From the center to the other point. That is your radius. Here also is your radius the half of the diameter. Again, you need radius is the half of your diameter. Okay. Understand? Now, when we solve for the area of the circle, you just substitute. Si pi, ano na yan siya? Constant na yan siya na 3.14. Okay? Pi is always equal, uh, equivalent to 3.14. And so, you will get the value of the radius here. What is your given? What is your radius here, Eunice? It's the 4 feet. Okay? So, you substitute here. So, you have your 4 feet squared. Now, how did you get the 16? Eunice, when you say squared, you need to multiply the number by itself. So, for example, so, for here, we have 4 feet squared, 4 times 4. That's why we have 16. Okay, Muniz? Uh, okay. Sure? Okay. So, we're good. Okay, Nadine? Please continue. The answer po is 50.24 feet squared. Ah, you multiply na already. 50.64 feet squared. Okay, very good. So, that is your area for this circuit. Minis, is it okay? Alright. Okay, how about Marco? Is it okay, Marco? Marco? Okay. Okay lang. Okay. Raise ko ha. Next, let's have 10 feet. This time, you see, it's not a radius. It's a diameter.
Charles. Oh. Mm -mm. This is a diameter, right? Oh, then how are you going to do with this? In our formula, we only need the radius, not the diameter. So how did you do that? What are you going to do with that? Hmm? You need to? <laughs> do you have idea, Nadine, how to get the radius from the 10 okay. feet? Oh, very good, Nadine. Please share. Tell us how to get the radius from the 10 feet diameter. You divide 10 into... Ten divide by 10 two. by... Divide the, uh, 10 by what? Two. By 2. Very good. Why is it 2? Because in a diameter, guys, as just like just what I told you yesterday and the other day, <laughs> diameter is... The half of diameter is, the, is a radius, right? So, for you to get the radius from the diameter, you need to divide it by 2. So, 10 divided by 2 is what? Um, Alexa, 10 divided by 2 is? 5. 5, very good. So, for your radius, you have 5 feet. Okay? 5 feet feet. Now, we can solve for the area of the circle. Now, I would like Benedict. Oh, you want to try Benedict? Children, we only have six minutes left. Let's finish this one, okay? Because we only have 30 minutes just for today so that you could have, you could have your preparation for your assessment. Okay, Benedict, can you help me, Benedict? You want to try? Okay, first only the give me the formula. Oh, Benedict, are you okay? Benedict, okay ka lang. <laughs> Hello, Benedict. Can you hear me? Okay, anyway. Okay, I will ask Munis na lang. Munis? You want to try me, Nies? Ah, uh, maybe. Iba la lang po. <laughs> nee. Try natin. Sige, I will help you. The formula you need is pi times r squared. What's the pi again, Munis? Ah, uh, 3.14. Very good. What's your radius for this circle? Fifth, fifth feet. Fifth, five, five feet. Five feet. Five feet squared. Don't forget the squared. Okay? Then, when you say five feet squared, what does it mean? You're gonna times? Yes. Five times five. Very good. What's the answer? Twenty-five. And then your unit is? Twenty-five feet. Feet? Ping! Squared. <laughs> Very good. Oh, di ba? ni And then you multiply your knees. 25 times 3.14. You saw 78.5. Very good. Wow. Ang bilis lagi. 78.5 feet squared. So your area for this circle is... 78.5 feet square. Okay? Okay. Alright. Sige, erase ko man na ito ha. Next tayo. Okay. So, uh, before we go, let's have a word problem. Sometimes in your assessment, uh, they will not give you some figure a world problem talaga, word problem like this. So, let's try number one. See, Jane? You want to try CJ number one? Come on. We only have three minutes left. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, I will give. 
Okay, everyone, look at the com at the screen. Ah, si Jane, please read na lang. Read lang number one. The radius. The radius of a circle is nine centimeter. What is the area? Okay, oh. Dali lang masyado. Sabi niya dito, in a circle, the radius is... What si Jane? The measurement is... Nine centimeters. Oh, you see? After you read the, the problem, grade five, try to visualize. You can draw for you to understand it very well. And then after that, write down your the given and then substitute with your formula. Okay? Sige. What's the formula again, Marco? Nine. No, no. I, I, the formula. A is equal to? Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, Five times. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what's this? What's this? R squared. Okay? Pi R squared. Okay, Charles. Continue, Charles. Pi is equal to? 3.14. Very good. And then your radius is? And? Ano? Nine. Look at the screen. Nine, nine meters? Or nine centimeters? Nine centimeters. And then don't forget the ping. Ting, ting, ting. Ting. What's that? <laughs> What's that? Ting. Ting. Bell. <laughs> the number two, the exponent. What's that? Squared. Oh. Squared ball. Okay, so again. Nine centimeters squared is. What's the answer, Charles? Nine times nine. Nine uh, times. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Uh, eighty-one. Eighty-one. The unit is centimeter squared. Charles, hungry, ka, no? <laughs> Okay, the answer now, 3.14 times 81 centimeters squared is? The answer is? 254 points. Thirty four, four. <laughs> centimeter squared. Okay. Oh, wala na. Next subject niya na. <laughs> okay. Everyone. Good luck to your assessment. Okay. Relax. Focus. And God bless. All right. Bye-bye. See you next See you Monday. Yes, bye-bye.